Now that we've been getting some great looks at the new movie Kong Skull Island, I think it's safe to say that this might be one of the tallest Kongs we've ever seen brought to life on the big screen. Just to put things in perspective, the last version we saw in the 2005 remake of King Kong had him standing about 25 feet tall. Now, director Jordan Vogt Roberts has said, and I quote, this is going to be the biggest Kong there's ever been. Not 10 foot or 30 foot, but a 100 foot ape. Now hold on there, big fella. Let's take a look back at some heights of Kong starting all the way back to 1933. Originally, 1933 Kong was said to be around 40 to 50 feet tall, but due to animation issues, he was scaled down to around 18 feet on Skull Island to 24 feet tall in New York. In 1976, we saw Kong rise to around 42 feet on Skull Island and 55 feet in New York. In the 1985 version, we saw him around 60 feet tall, and then in the 2005 version, we saw him shrink for whatever reason down to about 25 feet. Now, by these numbers, yes, Jordan, you are correct. This would be the biggest King Kong to date. But wait, I think we forgot about one. <laughs> Oh yeah, we forgot about 1962's King Kong vs. Godzilla movie, in which he stood around 147 feet tall. Now that was the biggest ever on-screen adaptation for the big ape. However, regardless of how you want to take a look at the numbers, King Kong still pales in comparison to his friend from across the ocean. In 2014, Godzilla was brought back to the big screen in a big way, coming in at about 355 feet. He was the biggest, bulkiest, most epic version of the nuclear lizard that I've ever seen. Much to the dismay of original Japanese fans who tore down this depiction for being too bulky and fat and who have since made a taller version of Godzilla, coming in around 387 feet and fresh out of a two-year gym membership being the most slim and muscular version of Godzilla that we've seen in a while. Now again, if you're like me and you love seeing giant fighting monsters come together on the big screen, then you already know about the planned Godzilla vs. King Kong movie in 2020, and to be honest, that has to be in your top five list for most anticipated movie in 2020. I personally can't wait, but I see one big problem that we might have here. How is King Kong going to be 100 feet, but Godzilla is going to be around 355 feet? That'd be like me walking into preschool and asking for the biggest, baddest kid in the class to fight me. It's, it's just not going to end well. But with that being said, the environment is going to play a pivotal role in this movie. If the movie takes place where there are lots of buildings or tall trees, advantage Kong because he knows the territory and can use ambush tactics while remaining hidden, like a grown version of Arnold in the Predator movie. On the other hand, if they're out in the open somewhere where there's nowhere to run or hide, you have to think advantage Godzilla. Also, you have to take into consideration that gorillas and apes have tremendous strength to size ratios. The amount of force that gorillas can produce is astonishing. It's said that they're about as strong as 10 men and can even lift up to 10 times their body weight. To put that into perspective, if you can bench press 225 pounds, they might be able to bench press 2,250 pounds. So no telling what that ratio is to Godzilla who seems to knock buildings over without even giving it a second thought. So I'm hoping Legendary Pictures can find a way to even those scales and maybe talk about how King Kong's strength ratio is off the charts compared to Godzilla, or maybe Godzilla is still handicapped from fighting the Mudos in the previous Godzilla movie. But nonetheless, I'm curious as to who you guys think is going to come out victorious in the 2020 remake of Godzilla vs. King Kong, or how Legendary Pictures is going to have these two forces of nature combat each other. And regardless of what happens, I'm just in the same boat as Ken Watanabe. Let them fight. So guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.